Luroy's Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver Walkthrough Part 18. Now, the first time you go into Ekertik City, um, you're gonna go into the Pokemon Center and meet a guy named Bill. Now, he's just gonna talk about the storage system stuff. It's really not important, but basically, instead of saying someone's PC when you go into the computers in the Pokemon Center, it's just gonna say Bill's PC. Not a big deal, but just in case you're wondering why he's talking to you, that's why. It's really not a big deal. So don't get worried about it. Just go into this house, though. Talk to this guy. This guy, on the other hand, is important. Um, he's gonna be like, yo, it's important to go on great adventures. Am I right? Am I right? And then if you agree with him, he will give you the dowsing machine. Um, pretty good item. You can use it to find hidden items around you. So use your dowsing machine, and it'll let you know if there's hidden items around. Um, pretty nice. And he mentions the Ekertik Burnt Tower. He says he might find some items in there. Keep that place in mind. We'll be visiting there pretty soon. Um, next up, well, there's actually not a whole lot of stuff to do. There's the Mart, but I think we're just going to go into this building right here. This is the Dance Theater. Um, a lot of you guys probably remember this from the original Gold and Silver, but it's changed a lot. Now, when you come in, you're going to see Team Rocket, of all the people in the world. Um, and he's trying to get a dance with this kimono girl, I guess. He's like, you don't respect what your customers want. Makes it sound like she's some kind of, like, I don't know, stripper or something, but... Anyways, then he starts showing off his dance moves. He's just spinning in circles, like, Michael Jackson style or something, I don't know. But what I think is funny is, like, you can stand right here for the longest time and he won't say anything to you, but as soon as you click A, he just freaks out. He's like, how dare you get in my way? Like, you could sit there for 24 hours straight and he wouldn't say a word, but the minute you click A, he freaks out on you. Anyways, you're gonna have to fight him because, you know, it's Team Rocket, so obviously you have to fight him. That's the whole point. Um, but he's only got one coughing at level 12, so it's not too hard. I'm even going to kill him with a Zubat, which is kind of embarrassing. And yeah, this is the only problem. He likes to use smoke screens, so he's going to lower your accuracy. And he's going to make you miss. And that's actually kind of um, a theme in, well, this throughout this video, I'm guessing, because um, the next two trainers we fight, including this guy, just love messing with your accuracy. I don't know what the deal is, but... That's just what Nintendo wanted to do to us here in Ekertik, I guess. Um, but yeah, he's just going to keep using Smokescreen over and over. Now, I mentioned a little earlier that um, this dance theater is different than it was back in Gold and Silver. And um, since I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to miss like 20 more times, I guess I'll just explain that now. Um, basically, in the old games, you would fight all the Kimono girls, and you would fight like Umbreon, Espeon, all those Eeveelutions. And you would fight them all, then you would get Surf. It's a bit different in this game. All you have to do is fight this guy right now. And you'll fight all those girls later on in the game. So you're still going to fight all those, you know, Jolteon, Flareon, Vaporeon. You're still going to fight all those trainers just later on in the game. Right now, you only need to worry about this guy. So yeah, it's a bit easier to get the HM for Surf. Um, he's like, you made me look like a villain! It's like, dude, you're wearing a Team Rocket uniform. You obviously are a villain. You're cutting off Slowpoke Tails for crying out loud. But then he runs off and... Um, you can talk to her. She's not really going to do anything for you. Um, she's just going to talk about a bunch of crap, so it doesn't really matter. But when you leave, this guy up here is going to be so impressed with your courage that he will give you the HM for Surf. Um, yeah, apparently beating a level 12 coughing is enough to show that you're worthy of getting the all, you know, great HM for Surf, which is a super rare, I guess. There's no other one in the entire game, but, you know, by beating that level 12 coughing, you've definitely proved yourself worthy. But Surf is a great move, the best water type move you can get in the game, in my opinion. If you have a water type, um, teach him that move. I don't have one right now. Um, but it's really early on in the game to get Surf, so it's really nice if you have a water type. Um, anyways, um, right up here is a place called the Bell Tower. Now, we can't go in here just yet, but I'm going to go in anyways. Um, actually, the guy up here at the gate, I think, says you can't come in until you've beaten the Gym Leader Morty. Even if you've beaten him, you can't go up yet. Um, this is actually where you'll eventually find Ho-Oh. Um, I'm playing Soul Silver, so I won't be catching Ho-Oh for a long, long time, but that's basically where you're going to find Ho-Oh later on. Don't worry about it right now. Um, but speaking of the gym, if you come down here, you're actually going to find that you cannot fight the gym leader. Um, he's gone, away from the gym. Uh, so you're going to come in, and this guy's just going to be like, You have business with the gym leader? Well, he's gone off to the Burnt Tower. Um, so yeah, everyone keeps talking about the Burnt Tower, so it's probably a good, a good idea to go there, if I can get my words out right. Um, that is up on the top tip of the town up here. 
And it's kind of obvious when you see it, because it's the only house that's burnt. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the burnt tower. There's a giant hole in the middle, which kind of reminds me of Home Alone 2 for some reason. Um, but yeah, l look, there's legendary Pokemon down there. Like, I, I don't know, if I saw all those legendaries, I'd be freaking out, but apparently everyone's all calm. Um, except for maybe this guy. This is Yusin, and this guy's kind of funny. He's been searching his whole life for the legendary Pokemon Suicune. He's like, I've heard rumors that they're in here. Oh, wait, yeah, they're right down there. We can see them from here. So, yeah, he's kind of an idiot. Um, he's not going to do anything right now. This is actually the gym leader, Morty. He says he's coming to investigate because he's heard about these legendary Pokemon. He's not really going to do anything for you either, so basically you just have to move on this way and find a wild Pokemon. Anyway, screw that coughing. We're going to move on. And guess who it is? Yeah, there's one more guy in here, and it is our rival, the Ginger. Um, he's like, you must be here to catch the legendary Pokemon. Blah, blah, blah. I'm so strong. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to beat you. I don't care if you beat me five times. I'm still stronger than you. Blah, blah, blah. That's basically what he says. Um, but yeah, he still hasn't gotten it through his head that we're the better trainer, so he's going to fight you again. And I'll admit, he's gotten a little better, but he's still going to be pretty easy to beat. Um, yeah, he's got four Pokemon on this team, and he will start with Ghastly. So, um, yeah, we're going to go with Batman and bite this thing. Because somehow you can bite ghosts in Pokemon. Yeah, isn't that fun? And he's going to confuse us. See, this is what I hate right here, right off the bat. Getting confused. And of course it has to happen on the very first turn. Uh, but we still got it off anyways. Alright, so, um, Ghastly's not going to last too long. Doesn't have very good defenses. And look at that, you're going to kill yourself with Curse. Well, that's a great idea. Sacrificing your own Pokemon. Um, but I guess that's going to kind of screw over Zubat, so... We might have to switch out or something, I don't know. But uh, keep in mind, um, you might want to find a Pokemon that matches up well against that Ghastly right now because the next gym is a ghost type, so figuring out what's best against it at this point is going to be a good idea, just so you're prepared for later on in the gym. Anyways, because I'm almost dead and cursed by that Ghastly, I'm going to switch out to Geodude, and he's going to take care of this Magnemite here because that's what Geodude does. He kills Magnemites and a bunch of other Pokemon too. Um... And you're going to try... Seriously, you're trying to confuse us again. What's the deal with that? And wow, Magnitude 4. That is the weakest of all the Magnitudes. Magnitude 4. And there you get your Supersonic. So yeah, at first he tries to confuse you. Then he tries to use Supersonic. Like, this battle is actually really annoying. Because he's going to do accuracy moves and confusing moves. It's just like the worst. But yeah, luckily we're going to knock out that Magnemite. Um, so Rocky's going to get up a level. Rocky pretty much has just dominated everything in this entire game so far. Um, he has so much that I'm just going to have to switch out to spread around the experience. Even though he could kill off the rest of the team. I might as well go to something else. So let's try out Heracross. Even though I'm four times weak to flying, I figure I might as well try to get some experience. I'm not really too worried about it. So let's go with the horn attack. So yeah, basically his entire team has grown up a few levels, but he's got that Magnemite now, so... The only difference, and let's hope this doesn't kill us. Alright, there we go. I guess that was kind of a terrible idea, sending in Heracross against a flying type, but whatever, it worked out. I would have normally gotten a Zubat, but Zubat's almost dead, so... Alright, his last Pokemon is a Q-Lava, and I guess I'll just go back to Geodude, because he's really the only one that can handle this thing right now. Geodude is basically invincible. <laughs> And it's still only a Geodude, it hasn't even evolved yet, and it still just destroys everything. Um, yeah, this is his last Pokemon. Obviously, he's not always going to have Q-Lava. He might have um, Croconaw or Bayleaf, depending on your starter. And there he goes again with the accuracy. Like, seriously, smokescreen, what is the deal? But whatever, Magnitude's still going to knock it out. So there we go. There we go, we have beaten the Ginger once again. Now I really hope that there's no doubt that we're the better trainer. I really hope he doesn't, like, I don't know. I really hope he doesn't come back later still thinking he's stronger. But I'm guessing he will just because he's a stupid ginger and he can't figure anything out for himself. But anyways, um, apparently these two idiots right here are too stupid to figure out that, hey, there's a ladder right there. It goes right down to the legendaries. Like, they're just standing up here watching over, like, hmm, where could these legendaries be? Oh, there's a giant hole and they're right down there. I wonder how I'd get down there. Well, let's try the ladder. Maybe that's a good idea. So yeah, here we go. It's this easy. You come down here, but unfortunately, you can't um, catch the legendaries yet. It would be kind of hard, considering all your Pokemon are probably like level 20-ish, 
and these things are like level 40. So you don't really want to be facing them anyways. But this part just kills me. He's like, did you see that? Suicune, it raced by. And he's like, I've been chasing Suicune for 10 years, and I've never been this close. 10 years, really? And they've been in here the entire time? Like, seriously, I, I started playing this game. Like, my playtime's probably like 5 hours. It took me 5 hours to find these things. You've been searching for 10 years, and I've already gotten closer to them than you. That is just embarrassing. Anyways, um, now that they're gone, the gym is going to be opened up, and there's really nothing to do down here unless you have strength, which we don't, and we can't even get that item, so... We'll just head back up. Um, there actually are a couple trainers to fight. Um, and I guess, uh, you know what? We could go fight these trainers right now and grab a few items, but, you know, we have bigger fish to fry. I want to take on the gym leader right now, so that's what I'm going to do, and I'll come back and fight these guys later on. Um, but yeah, next time, guys, we're going to be facing the gym leader, Morty, so stay tuned for more.